Hello friends, my name is Anuradha and as part of this lecture, I'll be taking you through steps to install Python on Windows. So what we will be doing as part of this lecture, we'll be downloading and installing Python. We'll understand different options on installer window. Once Python is installed, we will look at the directory structure of Python. And finally, we will have a look how we can install or install any Python package using pip utility, which comes bundled with Python itself. But why we need Python? Of course, it is there to interpret instructions which are written in Python language. And what we will be doing, we will be starting by having a look on our system and check if Python is already installed or not. Let's go. First thing, go to Windows Search and look for Python. And it doesn't show any Python on my machine. Okay. And the second thing, which definitely won't work is now is command prompt and type python version okay and if python would have been installed and would have been available environment variable path variable then it would have shown python version over here so we are not having any of these things so let's proceed and install python on windows machine before I go ahead and I install Python, I need to have a basic information about my system, which I can have it from here. And it says system type is 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor. Okay, so I'll be I'll be downloading my Python installable according to my system. Okay, now next thing I'll go to site python.org and then downloads windows right and when i reach this it says python release 3 or 2 i want python release 3 and the latest version in that is python 3.8 i'll go ahead and then on this page i'll scroll down to the bottom where i have different files according to different systems or different window system types okay now I already noticed that my system is 64-bit x86 and if yours is 32-bit this is the one which you have to download so I'll go ahead and download this so the second thing you need to know is where your downloadable is of course you can go from show in folder but in case you miss this you need to know where your downloadables go. My downloadables go in download folder. Okay, you might have different settings. So just check where your downloadable is. So I'll double click this. Now let's see and understand what options we do have while we are installing Python. Okay, if, if you see here are two options. One is install now, which will do default installation according to its own choice. And the other is customize installation. And then the third thing to notice is this add Python 3.82 path, right? So if I click on install now, what it is gonna do, it's, it, it'll install Python in this location. And then it will include idle, which is an IDE from, from Python, which is a default IDE. And it will help to write Python instruction. If you don't want to write in Notepad, definitely we don't want to write our programs in Notepad. Pip, pip is a utility to install Python packages. And then there is this documentation. So if you click on this button, you'll get all this. Okay. But I don't want all this. So I'll choose customize installation. It will help me to choose my desired location where I want to press go and install Python. And then it will help me to choose features which I want or do not want. Now, what is this Python 3.82 path all about? And what if I miss to check this or what if I check this so as it simply says add python 3.82 path i think it's quite clear and if we go to environment variable okay if we see this path variable here in user variables so what this add python if we are gonna check this will do will add python location where we are installing python to this path 
and eventually what we will get will be able to read Python command from command prompt. Definitely we want this and we have to check this box. Okay, but in case you miss to check this box, don't worry. Of course, we can go and we can always add value of path, Python path in this environment variable by all by ourselves. Okay, so no need to worry about that. But why to create hassle? So let's check this and proceed with customized installation. Now, as I said, I'll get option to choose feature which are by default getting installed. If I don't choose customize installation and if I choose install now. So I don't want documentation because I don't want to have uh, my space occupied with documentation, but I do need pip utility. Okay, pip utility is certainly very useful. You can install it separately, but I'll, I'm, I'm going to use this advantage. Okay, and it will help me to install many other Python packages. Okay, which are available on pypi.org. Okay, so pip is directly pip will be directly picking uh, packages from this folder and will help me to install Python packages. So back to this window and idle as I said is IDE. So I'll go ahead and proceed. Now, as I said that with customized installation, we can choose our path. So I don't want this path. I might get permission issues with that or I'm not comfortable with this. So I'll give a simple path. Okay. And of course it has further options add Python to environment variables and so on. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and proceed with installation. As per this, my Python installation is complete. So let me do my checks again. I'll do Python and I'm here with Python 3.8 64-bit in apps and uh, and I do have idle. Okay, I'll go to my command prompt and check for Python version. And it returns me the version which I have installed and uh, I can go to Python shell from here itself and execute any instruction. Okay, or I can also go to idle which is a Python ID and I can give my commands over here. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So we are all set and good to go with Python. So let's talk more about Python folder structure, the location where Python is installed and we know where we have installed our Python. So I installed my Python in the C colon Python 38 and I'll be going to this location. So this is my location where I have installed Python and this directory is called root directory. And as you can see, Python interpreter is directly under root directory. Okay. And there are other folders like DLLs include lib, libs, script, TCL tools. So I'll be primarily talking about these folders which are of importance to us and these are lib and script folder okay so what is there inside lib if you go inside lib you will see standard modules which are coming by default along with python installation and some of these modules are json logging or you can say email and we might be needing these standard modules as part of our co-development okay so we do, don't need to install them explicitly we just need to give import statements and we'll be having this as part of our code the notable module which can be seen over here is site packages it's a very important folder so when you install any package that goes over here okay and if there is an executable through which we are executing commands that goes in folder called scripts. Okay. So in case you have installed any package and it has called 
got command options and you're not and you get, get um, an error which says that this command not identified then this scripts path set in path environment variable or not so now let's install one package and see if it is true or not for that I'll go to command prompt and I'll install one package okay and first thing I'll again do is I'll check my Python version okay all good and then I know I installed pip which came bundled with the Python and here's this pip version which came bundled with Python now um, what I have to do I have to install one package okay and as I said that package should go in lib side packages and if it has got any executable command line option it should go be in scripts okay so I'll install pip install locust IO okay if you know about locust IO it's a popular performance testing tool which is trending let's not talk further about that so I'll install this package pip install locust IO and I as I said the pip installs pip is a utility which installs packages available on pypi.org okay so let's do it So it says uh, it is installed okay and let me go and check my folder again site packages and yes I do get locust and dependent packages over here which must be part of installation itself okay now if I go to script folder you can see I got this locust over here locust.exe so we see version and if it, it would have thrown an error that locust command is not identified then the first thing which we would have done is that we should have checked if this path is an environment variable or not so while installing package through pip you might get into issue okay and the reason which you might face is this error Microsoft Visual C++ 14 is required this is an error which is often which often occurs on Windows so before we get into the solution of this error let's see the reason for this error okay and for that we will go to this link which is python.org wiki page and what this link talks about is that even though Python is an interpreted language you may need to install Windows C++ compiler in some cases okay unlike Linux compiler for Windows are not included by default in the OS for example you will need to use them in these cases okay and one case is while installing non pure Python package from sources with pip now what you have to in this case obviously you need to have Windows C++ compiler and where is this Windows C++ compiler available is available in two forms but what version we need is mentioned on this page and we are on C Python that is the normal Python which we are using at the version 3.8 and it requires Visual C++ version this one which are errors is right and you can install it in two ways either it comes bundled up with Visual Studio or it is available in standalone version okay for some cases the case that you don't need to install Visual Studio completely okay that will take away all your space all you have to do you have to install Microsoft Build Tools for Visual Studio 2019 okay and these steps let's see these steps over here so first you have to install or upgrade the setup tool Python package okay so you have to go to command prompt and you have to upgrade setup tools and then finally you have to install 
Microsoft Visual C++ compiler and uh, for that you have to go to this link and if you go to this link you will see there is a Visual Studio complete Visual Studio but we don't need that what you need is this tools for Visual Studio and here you need build tools for Visual Studio 2019 that's it and you will be having C++ compiler and your error should go away and you can do reinstallation of your package python package which you need okay that's all about it friends i hope i was able to help you through this lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay tuned and have more such videos and don't forget to visit my website qamilestone.com which talks about more such youtube series wonderful posts and my udemy courses thanks for now